What's something you loved eating as a kid that you won't eat as an adult? Cold hot dogs, bologna by itself and Vienna sausages. I'm pretty sure as a child I lived off of cold hot dogs and bologna by itself. Now I can barely stand cooked hot dogs and I get grossed out even just looking at bologna. I eat Vienna sausages quite a few times a week. I like to drink the salty juice after. Sometimes I'll throw a can in the fridge so there's a gelatinous coating on them. Once in a while I'll get the hot and spicy ones. Hot dogs. Nope can do make me heave lol. I used to love eating cold hot dogs too, but now I'm all grown up and appreciate my wieners warmed up, just like my heart. Pasta from a can. Amen, I grew up in the rural south and mom fed us chef Boyardee. I never ate real spaghetti until I went away to college. That was the end of the chef. A, I still like it. And I'm 23. Prob cause I got used to the taste as a kid growing up. I'm 43 and still like it on occasion. Depends how tired I am slash if I wanna cook. I'm 42 and still like SpaghettiOs. And a lot of breakfast cereals if I'm being lazy. For whatever reason I never outgrew them. Real food tastes much better, but sometimes I just don't have the time. I used to enjoy canned pasta as a kid, but now I prefer my pasta made from scratch, because I'm all about that fresh pasta life, just like how I'm all about those fresh jokes. A shitload of candy slash soda slash sweets. I fucked up my pleasure neurons for those foods chocolate just ain't what you used to be. If you live in America they started putting more and more butyric acid in the chocolate. Butyric acid gives puke, rancid butter and parmesan cheese that signature taste slash smell. I would try European chocolate they tend to do it less. But I'm with you on the fact that I can't eat hardly any sweets anymore now that I'm older. I think chocolate in the US ain't what it used to be for so long now. I don't get how there's still demand for the shit. High quality chocolate is about the only one I can still eat a decent amount. In a way it's good cause just a few bites of other candy is satisfying enough and I don't need to eat the whole bag. Corn nuts. Loved them as a kid. Tried them as an adult and lost a filling. Oh shit. Can't stand corn nuts, man. Shit is nasty. I just ate the ranch flavored ones about two days ago, can confirm they are still spray painted rocks. You couldn't pay me enough to eat corn nuts as an adult. I learned my lesson when my dentist turned into a mechanic fixing my filling. Cosmic brownies. I will never forgive little Debbie for changing the recipe. They are definitely not as good as they used to be. Kinda tastes like cardboard now. Is that what happened? I'm assuming, because they did not taste like that before, or I wouldn't have ate them. I used to be all about those cosmic brownies too, but ever since I discovered that they're not actually made with real cosmic dust, I just can't stomach them anymore. Circus peanuts and little peeps. I don't think any human being likes circus peanuts. I am literally the only one. I love them. I do. I used to gobble up those circus peanuts and little peeps, but now I'm more into eating food that won't leave a colorful trail on my fingers for days. Hello. Remember those childhood foods we once loved? Well, let's face it, some things are better left in the past. So, subscribe for a giggle and drop your answer below. Let's reminisce about those questionable tastes together. Happy snacking, or should I say, not snacking? One more, I had a lot of time alone as a kid and even then I knew this was wrong, but so wonderful. I would put about half a bag of shredded cheese in bowl with a couple strips of bacon, microwave it into a big goopy glob and eat it straight like that with nothing else. This sounds so good and so bad at the same time, I'm gonna try it. For science. All credible experiments need to be properly peer-reviewed so. Nice, I highly recommend it. Fish sticks. I knew I couldn't be the only one. I have no idea how I ate those things as a kid. They taste nothing like fish and I love fish. I used to eat them frozen all the time as a kid. Grabbed one or two out of the freezer and just sat down to gnaw. It was delicious. At 42, I got back into them as a quick lunch option. But I have to use Ingelhofer SP tartar sauce. It tastes like it's from a restaurant. I used to devour fish sticks like a ravenous shark, but now I prefer my fish to be less stick Y and more flop Y if you know what I mean. Most candy and cake, sugar cubes, butter on its own, cereal. Butter on its own? Don't judge, it's delicious. Especially salted. 
Edit, I just remembered honey butter exists. I could eat a jar of it. In the absence of saltines, butter off the knife will do. Just don't use the poop knife for this. I used to devour Tootsie Rolls as a kid, but now I steer clear of them because I've realized they're just chocolate flavored chewing gum in disguise. Zebra Cakes Hostess and Little Debbie Snacks Def taste different now. There's a weird chemical aftertaste. Nerds and Jolly Ranchers are two of the things that still taste the same after all these years for me at least. I used to be obsessed with zebra cakes as a kid, but now I can't bring myself to eat them. I guess my taste buds finally realize that I'm more of a lion person. Cheese Whiz Ew. That was the biggest fad to eat that when I was in school. I don't think the Goofy movie helped. Commercial grade was on a cheese steak slaps SP heart. The jar stuff at grocery stores is gross though. I used to think cheese was was the epitome of gourmet cuisine, but now my refined palate cringes at the thought of fluorescent orange goo masquerading as cheese. Cottage cheese. When I and my siblings went grocery shopping with my mom, we were allowed to get one small treat. My sister's favorite was yogurt, my brother's was chips, and weirdo me chose cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. Add some black pepper and it's fire. I am from the Midwest though. I love cottage cheese with salt and pepper. I'm convinced you're super healthy RN. Me too I tried it again recently and I have no idea why I liked it lol. Cupcakes with towers of icing on them. I can only eat half of them at a time now since they're so sweet. I scrape that frosting right into the trash and enjoy my cupcake. You and I should be friends. I think cakes and cupcakes are just a vehicle for what I really want. Frosting. Same I'd rather throw out the cupcake and eat the frosting. Whipped cream frosting is the only one I'll eat. All the rest are too sweet and dense. I used to devour those cupcakes with towers of icing like they were going out of style, but now I can only handle them in small doses before my dentist threatens to revoke my license. Just straight white bread. Tastes like nothing after developing a taste for sourdough, multigrain, etc. I was a little freak show when I was a kid. I'd take the white part, ball it up and eat it like that lol. TBH the texture of it all condensed like that fucking hit though. Me too. I would also let my ice cream melt and drink it. TF lol. I used to think plain white bread was the greatest thing since sliced bread, but now I realize it's like eating a cardboard box, flavorless and socially unacceptable. Milk. I just can't do it. Even lactate. They leave a very bad taste in my mouth and I feel queasy. I can do almond or oat okay. 43 here. I will never not love milk. It's high calorie so I don't drink much, but I crave it all the time. There isn't much better than cold milk, chocolate milk even better. I love chocolate milk, the flavor. Just can't handle the after. Chocolate milk has as much sugar in it as a Coke. Maybe it's a lactose intolerance or something similar? Allergies can change over time after all. I used to love drinking milk too, but now I'm lactose intolerant, just like my patients for those who can't take a hint. Paper. Used to eat bits of it. Not that I like or love it but definitely will not do it again. I've probably eaten a whole book. Tastes bad, but nice texture. Why is this hilarious to me? I used to love snacking on paper as a kid, but now I've upgraded to adulting and I munch on paper bills instead. Gotta get that fiber and money tastes better anyway. Vienna sausages. My kid, 7, loves these freaking things and while I'm grateful not to have to cook a meal as he just wants them slightly warmed from the microwave, I'm also gagging over the smell of wet cat food. Oof. My son loves the sausages too but I won't heat them up. He gets crackers and I rinse those sausages and dry them so my kitchen doesn't reek. Of course this is what we call a snack lunch in our house and he gets that with a piece of fruit when he's not very hungry. I still throw these in my ramen. Libby's brand only. As a kid, I used to devour Vienna sausages like nobody's business, but now I'm more into feasting on things that don't make my stomach do a somersault. Peanut butter and fluff sandwiches. Was obsessed. Make grown-up fluffernutters. Seriously. Homemade marshmallow, real peanut butter, good bread with character, broil briefly to toast the fluff. Damn it's good. I used to be peanut butter and fluff sandwiches biggest fan, 
But now I've realized that stuffing my face with marshmallow fluff is less socially acceptable as an adult.